What's up, it's Zach from Render Effects, and this is how to jump through a portal in Final Cut Pro. Let's jump into it. Drag the shot of your subject into the timeline and trim it so it ends on the last frame your subject is in midair, just before they contact the ground. Next, we'll add the clean plate into the timeline after the subject shot. Now, we're gonna create a freeze frame of the last frame of the shot of the subject and move it on top of the clean plate. Now, it's time to find your portal composite. Whenever we're in need of VFX and motion elements, we like to use Footage Crate. First link in the description. They have a wide variety of assets to choose from, many of which are only available to paid users. However, you can sign up for a free account and have sample access. The asset we are going to use is titled Infinity Portal, and it's free for download with a sample account. Once you've got the portal composite, drag it in between the primary timeline and the freeze frame, and use the transform and distort tools to realistically position the portal in the scene. Next, we'll cut out the subject from the freeze frame using the draw mask tool. Then, we'll keyframe the position of the freeze frame, move forward a few frames, and then lower the position of the subject below the portal. Set the second keyframe's movement to linear. It may take some trial and error to get the speed and physics of this movement perfect, so to help with that, use the shortcut command Control v to show video animation. You can adjust the second transform keyframe by dragging it either left or right, causing the movement to speed up or slow down. When you've got the movement speed perfected, trim the end of the clip at the point of the second keyframe. Next, select the freeze frame and create a compound clip. Now, a part of the portal and foreground need to be in front of the subject. Add the draw mask effect to the now compound clip, invert it, and draw a mask covering the area where the subject is revealed underneath the portal. Feather the mask so the line is not harsh. Add the directional effect to the compound clip and adjust the amount and angle to emulate realistic motion blur. Before we finish up this effect, comment down below what you want to see from us next. Open the color inspector on the compound clip, add a color wheels inspection, and then add a shape mask. Decrease the curvature, then position the shape mask just below the portal, with the feather encompassing the portal. Now, decrease the luminosity of the highlights. This will create a shadow at the point of entry into the portal. Finally, we'll add an adjustment layer over top all of the clips and add the handheld effect to give the final clip a more natural, organic feel. If you do not already have an adjustment layer installed, we have linked a free download in the description below. And now, you can enjoy your finished product. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy our tutorial on how to teleport in Final Cut Pro. Also, follow us on Instagram at RenderEffects with two R's, and check out digitalhustlers.store for some awesome filmmaker clothing. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.